On this episode of The Snack Guy, we have, well, this guy, and we're talking Oreo Coca-Cola Zero Sugar? I don't, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. But first, let's just jump into who we have with us on, on my first, it's my first guest here on The Snack Guy. I've never had a guest. I don't wow. like to have people on my show. This is my show. I don't like other people on it with me. But today I have a very special guest, somebody we all know and love from the internet, the Oreo review man himself, Jonathan Estes. Hello, Jonathan. That's me. I wasn't sure how you were going to say my name, but that is my name. Yeah, I'm Jonathan Estes. I, I, that's your name. That's who we know you as, as Jonathan Estes, the Oreo guy, I'm, the Oreo review I'm guy. I'm honored to be here as the first official snack guy mm -hmm. guest. Well, you're not official. Okay, the un first unofficial snack guy unofficial guest. Unofficial guest, yes. And uh, yes, I am. I, I did used to review Oreos on YouTube mm -hmm. and Oreo products, so I suppose I have a bit of expertise under my belt in that area. Well, there's actually, I've never reviewed Oreos on this mm -hmm. show because I didn't want to tread on your show and, and give you, but now your show's over. You've ended, you've ended your Oreo career mm -hmm. and I'm bringing you back. You've actually, mm -hmm. you've never had Oreos ever no, again. Well, like Seinfeld, you know, I decided I want to go out on a high note. I walked, I uh, rode yep. off into the sunset. I, I give you my blessing now. If, if you want, mm. you can carry on the Oreo review show legacy and review Oreo oh. products. That's up to you. Okay, that's great. I mean, we are, well, we are today. This is, we we're are breaking today that barrier. With a, now, you you were up on your Oreo news when you were doing the Oreo sure. review show. I don't know if you were up on your, your Oreo review, your news anymore. I got those but, uh, alerts. Did you, did you know this was coming out? The the collaboration between Coca-Cola and Oreo or Oreo and Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah, I was aware of this. I saw, so I'll see their ads on Facebook. I follow them on Facebook, right. of course. Of course and you do. Well, my immediate reaction to it, I think, was one of disgust. <laughs> yeah, as but as I am with most of the Oreo flavors that they've they've come out with in the last what ten years at this point they've been doing, but ramping up more and especially with Coca Cola as well. Coke has been doing a lot of these Coke creations flavors, um, usually more vague than Oreo. We've had um, what was there one just space? <laughs> this one tastes one like flavors. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, they had one where it was like, oh, it's this is we 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 were with that Mar that Mario that um, like plumbers. marshmallow oh. head guy, the music DJ. Yeah. And it just ended up tasting like marshmallow, which is just what sugar. So it just tasted like more sugar. But uh, I've never like, I've, have you ever had. Let me ask you this. Have you ever had chocolate soda? Is, does chocolate soda just mean like an egg cream? Like, does that count? Kind of, but they do make, there's a bottle of chocolate soda that is made by, it's called a company like Manhattan Special. They also make a coffee soda as well, but they make a chocolate soda that is very problematic because you're supposed to shake it before, before you drink it. But as we all know, shaking soda mm. before you drink it is not a fun time feels like a losing uh, proposition. for anybody. I can tell you this about yeah. me as a kid. This is true. Mm -hmm. I used to put Hershey's syrup in Coke and drink it. How are you not diabetic? <laughs> I always, but I always thought in hindsight that that was the most disgusting, horrible thing I could imagine. Until one day I realized that is basically just an egg cream. It that is an it's egg not cream. that different. So now you've also like you know you've also we've we've seen you do the peanuts in Coca Cola before. That's just awful. That's a southern thing. We've all that is, seen uh, me do that. <laughs> we've all seen it. It's your your trick at parties. You just break it out when you're. Um, just at a party and there's a lull moment. So like what, how much chocolate would you put in? The I soda? don't, I mean this, I was, must've been like five or six years old. This was, I was really, now, I've, I never knew this about you and I've known you for about 75 <laughs> it's years. That's something I'm proud of. So this isn't, <laughs> this is something you would do in the corners in the basement and just, it's funny sure. that you say chocolate yeah. soda though, because I wasn't thinking about this flavor so much in terms of the chocolate cookie. I was thinking more of oh, the cream. Because I definitely think, see, Oreo to me is more of a chocolate treat than uh, regular Oreos, not the, the vanilla or any of the other weird flavors. But like a regular Oreo to me is a chocolate thing other than more than a cream thing. What, what about you? Do you think it's more of a chocolate thing? It's about or both. Or is it just a whole? It's a 50-50 partnership. It is. I just mm. don't know why I felt like that's the easier flavor to mix in with the Coke flavor. But okay. now I'm like, is this thing going to taste chocolate? I'm cu I don't know. Uh, it's... <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm getting the vibe that we're going to get like a, you know, that, that fake chocolate flavor that you get from like a Tootsie Roll, like that mm. kind of like weird manufactured chocolate. That's not the chocolate you get from Oreo at all. Yeah. Cause the Oreo chocolate is like a different, it's made with real it's kind cocoa. of like a dark, 
It is. So it's more so towards like a dark chocolate than it is like a milk chocolate with the cream. It's good. Yeah. It, it, Oreos, Oreos are the ideal sandwich cookie across all sandwich cookies. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. there's there's plenty of sandwich cookies out there. Those Vienna fingers. Nutter butters. The, the nutter butters. Um, that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And the, I mean, the flavor of the cream is really just sugar. So. Right. Yeah. Because there's so, is there a vanilla in the I'm sure there's the cream. I don't know if it's literally. I'm like sure vanilla there's yeah, vanilla esque flavor of some kind, but it's right. really just sugary cream. <laughs> you know. Now, did you have you did you purchase the Coca Cola Oreos? No. If you had told me to, I would have, but I didn't. <laughs> I I didn't want to because that just seems like I because one bottle of soda that's twenty ounces. I could I could either drink it, give it to somebody <laughs> if I don't like it. Buying an entire thing of Oreos I might not like is probably not the best thing. How did you deal with that? With because I'm sure you had a bunch of flavors that you didn't enjoy. I would either um, eat them and hate them and just feel bad. Just shame eating. Or yeah. I would give them away to people if people would be willing to take them. Uh, yeah, sometimes there's lots of bad flavors. It's one of the perks of not doing that show is that I don't have to eat those anymore. Right. I, this, I think, sounds like it might be the better of the two, specifically because one thing I know about the Oreos is that they have the popping candy on them, which other Oreo flavors have had. Yeah. And I find the sensation of that very unpleasant. Don't like that. Because it's like, like this is, Coca-Cola is supposed to sparkle and be fizzy in your mouth. And and cookies aren't, cookies aren't supposed to, to fizz in your mouth hole. No. And it's, it's weird. No. Now, they, you know, we, we talked about they're making the, they, they made, it's already on the market, the cookie flavored like soda. What is the worst flavor that you've had of Oreos in the run of the show or in your life? I, it's a very easy answer for me. The answer is the love mm -hmm. Oreo. Which, oh, you don't want something that tastes like love. It was a Valentine's Day one. It was one, it was one of my early episodes and uh, I don't, it was just kind of hot in a weird way, like I, it was, it was, I almost like couldn't sexy, eat it. No, like it turned you on like a little bit. You got a little cinnamony, maybe, but it was extremely oh. unpleasant. I can't. Remember. You'd have to watch the episode to remember, but I think mm -hmm. I feel like oh. I spit it out. It was horrible. I mean, other than that, oh, I wow, mean, one okay. of the worst ones was I, when I put mustard on an Oreo, but I did that myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so that's not a, a, a from factory no. thing. They didn't do the mustard Oreo. Mm. I think the worst Oreo I ever had, they had a root beer or a root beer float Oreo, mm. and it tasted like chemicals. Mm. Yeah. This is well before you did the show, but it was like, I'm sure they have on it again because they often bring out certain summer flavors and root beer is a summer flavor. Mm. Uh, the other bad one I had was uh, the Swedish fish, Swedish fish, one, and it was just, it just tasted red. Like I don't know they recently what did, flavor uh, it was trying. Sour to Sour Patch Kids Oreos. I didn't touch those with a ten foot pole. <laughs> did they? I guess they just added the sour powder. Probably. In them? I don't know. Didn't want it. Because anything, anything that they add a fruit to an Oreo is a little off putting. Because it's like it's already fake. Like chocolate and fruit sometimes don't go well in my brain. Yeah. But. Have they ever done a strawberry one? Because that would be like a chocolate dipped strawberry. That would be good for the love. Yeah, one. I don't know if they've specifically done strawberry, but you know, some some mm. of the limited flavors can be good, but most of them are just bad or <laughs> trash. And yeah. yeah, now this soda. Getting back to Let's the soda, to this it. only comes out in zero sugar, yeah. which I don't know. What are your views on zero sugar or diet sodas? Because for me, I'm a diabetic, so having a zero sugar soda is safer. And it's just uh, less sugary in the mouth. I'm not a generally a diet soda person, but I Coke Zero is pro the Coke that I go to the most, probably. That is yeah. my my flavor of Coke. So, uh, so. And it's definitely better than Diet Coke, oh, in yes. my opinion. They, 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 whatever they reworked out or whatever new chemical they added, Coke Zero, especially from the freestyle machine where you can mm. add whatever flavors you want <laughs> Fun. to it. Maybe even Oreo now. That would be that a could thing. Be in there. Um, <laughs> So they also, they you know, when they launched this, it's a whole partnership. There's, there, I, I don't know if they're owned by the same corporation. They might be in the giant scheme of things because it's Nabisco owns Oreo, mm -hmm. but also so does the, Mondelez what's the M company. is the parent company of Nabisco. It's the worldwide. Yeah, I believe, yeah. But then, like, I wonder if they own Coca-Cola in the, some weird, strange so. mix of things. I don't think so. So you think this is just a... 
a random mix that they just happen to just a, combine the two. Yeah, together. it's a collab. Some people from both companies said, "Let's let's do this together because we we both do weird flavors. Why not? Right. So let's do weird flavors together. But if you wanted to get a T-shirt, a hoodie, or any merch, they are putting out <laughs> merch with the logo and like a weird little heart thing because now they're like the whole point of this is like a we love each other kind of weird thing. And I don't. They're besties. I don't like it. I don't get it. Um, and there's also a sweepstakes. You can win a trip with your bestie to, I think, London, which is, is kind of weird. You would think it would be like to Atlanta to go to the Coke manufacturing facility or something. I don't know. Is it Atlanta? Mm -hmm. Somewhere in yeah. Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think it's time to uh, let's, 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 let's crack this this sucker open. The, the bottle is just basic. It's a basic black bottle with white text and a little red creations logo on it. There's not like they have the Oreo logo, but it's not really... There's not an Oreo. Well, the the logo. Cookie anywhere. Look at the logo. It looks like there's a. It's a sandwich cream. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I guess you're right Let's with see. that. They should have uh. made the lid have the Oreo logo mm, on wow. top. But they have to say it's. But they have to make sure to tell you that it's recyclable mm -hmm. because it says it is fizzy yeah. cookie flavored. That is the flavor. Yep. Now, but is it okay? So is fizzy a flavor? I need your opinion. Is fizzy it is now. a flavor? Because I have a fizzy cookie. Because I have an opinion on it. Is it no? Because sparkling, <laughs> no sparkling water has a flavor to it. Just plain sparkling water. And I think mm. it's the bubble, the, the whatever the the carbon monoxide, dioxide, it's the carbon one monoxide. One yeah, me. I think so. <laughs> should, should I open? But this? yeah, yeah. Let's open. Let's open this now, and oh, you could hear it opening. Now mine is cooled. It's not as cold as right out of the fridge, and I think yours is in the yeah, fridge. It's in the fridge, but just you know, it's only been out for five minutes or so, ten minutes. Now, do you get that Coca Cola smoke that comes out mm, of your yeah, bottle? Yeah, yeah, that dry ice that I put mm. in there. <laughs> we gonna smell it? Oh, it's smell it's it. Like wine, we gotta swish it and sniff it. Yes, it smells like an Oreo it, cookie. That's really that's weird. So off putting. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it is off putting. <laughs> Because like my brain wants to smell the oh, Coca Cola scents and all that stuff. That but... is so weird. <laughs> it smells like an. Or... But if you smell it for too long, it starts smelling gross. I don't. Now, I'll know say this: I have yet. heard positive a few, not many, but I've seen some positive comments on this. I, yeah, I think people like which it. it. Which I guess like what is Coca Cola? It's just a base of sugar, and add the chocolate. It smells like the. It, I, okay, so I am right. It does smell like a chocolate. It is a chocolate based I suppose, soda. Yeah. And uh let's let's take our first sips, okay. I guess. So scared. That is so weird. That tastes like I, I taste Coca-Cola. The baseline is Coke. But I taste the chocolate of the Oreo. I don't really taste the cream. No. And you notice on the label it does say cookie flavored, not cookie and cream flavored cream flavored so could yeah it's just the oreo cookie. but again the oreo the cream flavor is just sugar so it's, right it's just it's kind of in there white lard with you it know, is funny to make this sugar. zero sugar it, when that's the primary ingredient of oreos <laughs> and coca-cola yeah. no it it really tastes like this is actually i don't know if i would call it good right off the bat because now it's just like oh this is just like one of those weird protein shakes that tastes like things <laughs> Things. But it, it definitely tastes like things. You know, it tastes like things. But, oh, there's a burp coming in. I apologize. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on this show, we burp I on camera. You should, this is a, you this should is cut a, that. That's, part, that's in my this is a contract to appear on this show. That has to be cut. It's a burp I keep drinking show. it because it's one of those weird things where I can't tell if I like it or not. Or, or I don't know if it would be like a Stockholm Syndrome thing or if I drink this whole bottle, I'd be like, I think I like that. But do I really? Right. <laughs> I actually, I enjoy it because it kind of like, okay, so from a show that we've both listened to, Mike and Tom eat mm. snacks. This would be if they janelli which is when you combine <laughs> oh, no. Oreos and Coca-Cola in your mouth and you would get that flavor. I'm actually, I really did that this. I, 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 it's actually a lot better than I expected it to be because I've been burned by some of the Coca-Cola flavors in the past. But I feel like if they were to say this was going to be a cookies and cream Coca-Cola, mm. They would have gone just like a really cheap flavor, but since they have the Oreo logo on it and they've got the Oreo blessing, I guess they either figured out how to get the Oreo. Look, he just drank it. So, folks. He's I'm just, just so confused by it. I need. I don't know what this is. I think Mikey. Mikey <laughs> likes it. Mikey enjoys the. Uh, your name's Mikey. Yeah, right? that's my name. Yeah. 
I, I'm actually, I'm really digging the flavor of this. I don't think this would be like something I would get often, mm. but like maybe if it was like at a, as a treat, as like a, maybe at like a Five Guys or like somewhere with the Coke Freestyle machine, I would pick it up as like a, uh, like even more of a dessert than soda is because it's kind of digging. The, oh, you know what this would be good as? An ice cream float. You take some vanilla ice cream, mix it with this Oreo soda. You get that chocolate, the soda. I actually think that's maybe what it is missing. I think it is missing that cream. I think that I, I think it's maybe mm. a mistake to focus so much on just the cookie. Okay, now I get that because then it's you're just getting a chocolate soda, which isn't bad. Like if they were, to, oh no, we're good, we're good. We're, I'm past it. <laughs> oh, if you were to like, if you were to just call this Coke chocolate, right? Spot on. Right. It's good. But it is just, it's so scary to me what mix of chemicals made this taste exactly like an Oreo. Because it's not even like, it's not even just the cocoa powder. It's literally like you're getting the taste of cookie. Oh, it looks like it's natural flavors. (laughs) I hate, I hate when they're like artificial flavors. Yeah, which artificial flavors are they? Because maybe I want to make I also, yeah, I don't know what a situation you drink this in. I, I'm um, doing a YouTube show <laughs> yes. and, and and TikTok. These, these creations are only made to make content. That's all. Like, I'm you know. not the kind of. I don't usually like to. I'm not crazy about having a chocolate milkshake with my dinner. Usually, I like right, to keep dessert and the meal separate. So this is kind of weird that it's like, is this a? Do I have this for dessert? I guess if you're at like a party right. and you're just hanging out, you might just drink one of these for fun. Mix a little booze with this, some kind of alcohol with oh. this. Like, oh, a cream, a cream-based alcohol like with this. Like a white Russian. Would make the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But with Oreo, it's probably terrible. But, you know, kids don't drink. Don't drink. Um, or that do drink. Work. I don't care. But, so, like, yeah. So, either mixed with ice cream, mixed with an alcohol. Now, you said you don't want to do your milkshake with your meal. Will you do a soda with your meal? Or are you more of, like, a <laughs> no. water? Well, nowadays, I will drink water more often. Uh, but I, yeah, I suppose it's, it's hypocritical, but that's just part of our society as Americans yeah. that you're conditioned to drink sugar drink with your meal. <laughs> well, it depends. Like if I go to a restaurant, like the other night we went to a diner and they're like, Oh, do you want to drink? I'm like, Oh, I'll just have a water sure. with my meal because it's like, you want to taste more of the food at a sit down restaurant. Huh. But like at McDonald's, it's like, oh, I'm just getting trash that's anyway. Part of the, Let me just add soda. That's to like this. pairing your wine with your steak. You've got to have Coke with your right. McDonald's. You got to. Like who's who's getting water at McDonald's? What are Come you on. doing? What are you doing there? The apple slices? Right. I'm not doing that. Right. They look at you. They go, we don't actually have these. These are just for a sign. So out of a five star rating, one being the worst, five being the best thing you've ever had in your mouth hole. What are you rating as the Oreo review guy? at the Oreo review show on YouTube. Uh, what are you reviewing Oreo Coca-Cola zero sugar? I'm definitely going to be lower on this than you. I can, I can okay. tell, uh, the flavor is, it's not bad. It's not disgusting. It doesn't make me want to spit it out. I can drink it. I don't know when I would or- buy this again. I right. don't really know how excited I am to finish this bottle. Maybe yeah. if it were also not, you know, it depends on time of day. If it were like late at night, I don't know, kind of a fun thing as opposed to like, you know, we're kind of, it's like I've eaten lunch today. I'm not exactly craving the sugar and the caffeine right now. Right. There's still caffeine in Coke Zero, right? Yeah, there is. And there's caffeine in chocolate too, so it might be more. There things. you go. I don't love the aftertaste either. I feel like the longer I sit with it, it's not great. That might be the fake sugar too, because yeah. think about it too. They also had to do fake sugar, the chocolate as well. Right. So it's okay. It's not disgusting, but it's not great. I think I'm probably like right in the middle two and a half. Can I give halves? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I've done halves. <laughs> two and a half. But honestly, if I were to finish this whole bottle later, the score might go lower. I think I'm being generous right, right now. <laughs> so two and a half from, from, from That's Jonathan me. here. I, I definitely like it's, I've only had maybe mm. what a, third a fourth of I've had a little bottle. more than you <laughs> a little more and uh and these are these just to mention they do come in the 20 fluid ounce bottles or you can get the mini cans in a six or a 12 pack at your local walmart or wherever you get things or just go to oreo and just get them um but for me i i i do like the way they did the flavoring it does somehow weirdly taste like an oreo cookie which like spiked it for me but then brought it down because then i'm thinking about how how did they do that because they didn't just add oreo 
to Coke. <laughs> they did. It's very chemical. And just grind up because a it's like, in there. <laughs> yeah, and it's like it's like too like I could I, I could taste like my brain's like where's the crunchy? Like I also like mom, my brain's like I need to eat something. Um, three. I'm gonna give it a three for me. Three okay. out of five uh, uh, Oreos on the the snack scale machine here and you know it, it's not bad you're right i would never like i'm happy this is the small like the biggest i can get it in because like if i would have gotten a two liter it would have sat in my fridge forever and i would have like brought it to your house and you would have been like no i don't want this get this out of my house so yeah it's not it's not bad i definitely think this soda is going to be better than the cookie you're probably right what do you think i think you're probably right but i don't know that it's saying too much just because i think that that's i don't want a cookie flavored like soda like like no. chocolate soda Especially, has sort of a that's there's something there. There's a thing. Yeah. Right. Uh and like I also don't want my cookies, like I said, to like have popping rocks in them. Pop rocks in them. I don't like it. Popping rocks is what the original flavor, the the title. But yeah. Um okay. It was it's definitely one of the better Coca Cola flavors that, that have been on the market before. I mean, minus the like you know real I flavors think like I like the space ones or whatever better than this. Did you? <laughs> I don't know about marshmallow. Okay. Wasn't there also? Was there one that was literally called Dreams? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, there was Dreams, and I don't know what it tasted like. I, I don't even think I, I, I like the the, the spiced raspberry Coke or whatever. That was That's cool good. because it was like there. That's around. There was stuff. already a fruit thing, and like a ra- I like a raspberry flavor. The spice was good. But I do hate sometimes when they get a little bit too vague and don't tell you exactly what it's going to be because, like, I need to know. Let me know. Now, if this didn't say Oreo on it, Mm. if you just bought this and it was chocolate Coke, would that change your review? No. It would. Okay. uh, I will say, I don't know. If I drank this without knowing it was Oreo, I don't know if I would say this tastes like an Oreo. It does right. smell like but an reading Oreo. It and <laughs> the smell is where they got it. Yeah. They got the smell yeah. down, and it's amazing to me. Um, but I think that'll, that'll pretty much wrap up this episode. And uh, where can people find you online oh, when man. you're not, you know, when you're not doing my show <laughs> and and drinking and eating Oreos? Well, uh, if you like the, the exciting dynamic between the two of us here, you're gonna love it over at our other show, which is called Geeks on Trial which is also on YouTube as well as in podcast format, where uh, every week we debate geeky disputes between other people. We talk about all kinds of stuff over there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Or you can find my website, JonathanSS.com. And uh, no more Aura Review Show. They're dead. You're done with that. It's it's in your past. (laughs) That part of me is over. left that. He got attacked. He was tied up. It's finished. done. Never again. This is a real, this is it. This is the best you're going to get right here. And maybe I'll bring you back on for That's another the only Oreo related thing at some point. <laughs> only sodas. You have to come on to somebody else's show and guest. Ugh, S- Oreo Sprite. What's well, next? <laughs> well, they'll do the double stuff. <laughs> the double stuff Oreo. That's just two of <laughs> it's these. It's all cream. <laughs> you just... <laughs> That's the two liter that you get. But thank you guys so much. Let me know uh, if you want me to do this again in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Ivan Han, the snack guy. Go enjoy a snack or a soda. 